Hello guys, welcome back. So now here in this session, I'm going to explain a very important, uh, you know, configurations or setting that is foreign currency setting. So first of all, uh, we'll see like I'll explain the concepts and then we'll go for configurations. In configurations also, uh, I'll explain certain very exclusive things, guys, during configurations that you'll never find anywhere. Uh, if you talk about the foreign currency uh, settings and all, that is very important configurations, guys, and lots of questions are going to be asked by people during interview. So we'll explain each and everything in details, and easily you guys are going to understand the things. So first of all, let me uh, explain you like uh, the need of like why uh, we have to configure this foreign currencies and all in the sense settings and what will happen after configurations like what kind of benefit you are going to get so those things are going to be explained now i'll quote a very simple example here once again so say for example now okay i'll give a very simple example say for example we are having a uh, rent real okay rent real means like let's suppose tata motor has taken like lots of buildings are there on rent corporate offices there several other offices are there in different different cities and all that is also on rent uh, taken from uh, you know multiple different different what to say vendors vendors in the sense like builders right so builders are going to be treated as a vendor now so every month we are going to receive multiple invoices from different different vendors i'll just let's suppose i'm quoting some uh, you know like example here these are the amount which we are receiving every month i'm putting a very small amount guys just for example only right so let's suppose these are the amounts these are the amounts every month we are receiving like uh, it is getting posted in the form of rent for different different office let's suppose this is for corporate office this is for uh, office somewhere in mumbai delhi right now at the same time Tata Motor is having like operations even in foreign countries also. Say for example, uh, in uh, USA also it's having market. So how they are going to sell the vehicles over there? Generally, whatever the vehicles are getting manufactured here, let's suppose it is going to be transported and somewhere at central locations in USA, somewhere uh, there will be a, a depot where like all the vehicles are going to be stored and from there, they are going to distribute uh, to the local distributors right so even whatever that area whatever that storage locations so-called like depot is there for that and so like whatever they have acquired over there that is they have taken on rent so now here when, what what is happening guys for that also they are paying rent okay so every month we are receiving in the sense Tata Motor is going to receive the invoices from the vendor in the sense the owner of that warehouse sorry the owner of that depot so every month we are receiving invoice but the owner in the sense that vendor is going to send invoices in USD, right? So say for example, 100 USD worth of invoice. Now here, if you talk about the currency here, so all these amounts are in Indian currency, whereas, or whatever the local currency is there, that is your company code currency I'm talking about. Now, and this is in USD currency. Okay. If you, uh, what do you say, let's suppose management want to see the report, like overall how much rent has been paid in this particular month, then how to get guys? If you are going to look at here the consolidated figure here now. So if you are going to check this consolidated figure, so it is going to show you like it's 25,100. But guys, this is not the correct figure. This is incorrect figure why because these amounts we have counted that is in different currency and this amount is in different currency so if you talk about the value of us currency is uh, you know bigger than uh, indian currency right now so here here what is happening guys in this case in this case generally this usd whatever the transaction got posted in usd that must be converted into local currency right so let's suppose one usd equals to 50 rupees 50 INR. in that case here all these amounts i'll just do one thing i'll copy and i'll paste here so what is the need of this i'll tell you so 100 usd equals to let's suppose 5000 right and it is converted into local currency itself now this is the 
correct figure. It means 30K. 30K. This is the correct figure, right? So here what is happening, whatever the amounts are getting posted in foreign currency, this is how, like, let's suppose a single transaction is there. I have converted manually. But if you talk about an organization, several transactions are taking place in foreign currencies, right? Uh, and that too, there might be a chances multiple currencies also could be there or is single currency also will be there. Like it depends upon organizations. Generally, what is happening, guys, if you talk about US dollar, that is called global currency. Most likely, whichever the trades are happening, like uh, customers, vendors from uh, cross-border customers and vendors are there. So uh, to those vendors or customers, what is happening? If we have to make payment, they will say that I accept payment in uh, US currency only. Or if they will say that we are going to accept USD in the sense US currency, uh, you know, like Euro and GBP, like four or five currencies are going to be accepted. So now USD is also, of course, like global currency, guys. So most of the like, if you talk about the, uh, if you check the, you know, exchange rates and all, so every currency are going to compare with USD itself, right? So now, so what is happening? Like, let's suppose if you are having vendors from different countries, they are accepting payment only in USD. So whatever the invoices we are receiving from those vendor, that is going to be posted in US currencies, right? And if you have to calculate, let's suppose we are receiving uh you know like we are having like multiple vendors are there some of the vendors are there from india so let's suppose we have received the invoices in local currency however some of the vendors are there from uh, different countries and we are receiving their invoices in different currencies guys so those uh, invoices are also going to be posted so if we talk about the total payable what is our total payable what is our total liability so this is not the correct figure guys whatever foreign currencies are there that is must be converted into local currency and then only you are going to get then then only we are going to get the exact figure like what is our total payable what is our total liability right so since multiple transactions are taking place in foreign currency so it is not possible to convert like whatever transactions are getting posted manual conversion is not possible 100 of transactions 200 of transactions 500 of transactions are taking place in foreign currency on daily basis so sap has given sap has given foreign currency setting here this functionality is there so if you configure this foreign currency settings then what will happen guys no matter whatever transactions we are going to post in foreign currency automatically system is going to convert that value into local currency okay so here actual actual uh, what do you say posting in the sense actual amount with actual currency also is going to appear and at the same time the balance converted value is also going to appear in the report i'll show you like uh, so that is going to be pretty clear guys it is easily uh, you guys will be able to understand okay now so this is what the use of foreign currency settings it means if we are going to uh, configure this foreign currency settings here in sap then whichever transactions are getting posted in a foreign currency that is going to be converted into local currency automatically with the help of the configurations what configurations we are going to do how to do the configurations and all each, each and everything i'm going to explain uh, in details uh, with easy and simple examples so that easily you guys are going to understand those things now there is one more challenge here challenge means i'll tell you now let's suppose if you have to so now here what is happening guys uh, how this conversion is taking place Conversion in the sense like foreign currencies uh, amount got converted into local currency. So how system came to know that one USD equals to 50 rupees? Because if, if this, somewhere we are going to maintain the price, guys, that one USD equals to 50 rupees or 60 rupees, right? Or is whatever your currency is there, I'm not talking about like this uh, INR USD uh, itself, guys, it could be any currency. It could be any currency. Whatever your company code currency is there, that is going to be treated as your local currency in the sense uh, and uh, whatever invoice currency is there let's suppose if it is other than your local currency then it is going to be treated as foreign currency so now here i said like one let's suppose one usd equals to 60 or 50 let's suppose i have given like 50 i know so somewhere we are going to maintain this rate then only system is going to convert 
system is going to convert this amount in the sense 100 USD into this 5000 INR. So somewhere we are we are going to maintain this rate, right? So now, of course, we have to maintain, guys. We have to maintain this rate, and that rate is going to be maintained in a particular table that is called foreign exchange table. Okay. So now I'll uh, tell you where to maintain these rates and all. Okay. But before that, again, the next question is which rate are we going to maintain? So now, even even like you guys also might be thinking, which rate? What do you mean by which rate? Right? Which rate means like a single rate only will be there. One USD equals to either 50 INR or 60 INR, 70 INR, whatever. Uh, what do you say? Uh, rate is there that we have to maintain. So I'll tell you guys, no, it's not like that. If you talk about the rates, then I'll tell you. Now, say for example. So here I have put an example of I have created like uh, whatever the settings are there. I am assuming that this Tata motor is existing in India. So that is why local currency is going to be treated as INR. If you are going to conf uh, configure and if you want like if your company uh, is located in a different country, so that country currencies are going to be your local currency. And apart from this, other than whatever other, other than your local currency, whichever the other currencies are there, that is going to be uh, treated as foreign currency, right? So here I'm quoting example in terms of Indian currency, but you just assume uh, into your local currency, you keep your currency in your mind and then you, uh, you know, uh, just consider this uh, example and all so that you guys will be able to understand, uh, you know, uh, clearly. So now here what I'm saying, uh, I said like uh, which rate we have to specify. Okay, so say for example, let's suppose Tata Motor is there in, in uh, or is like, let's suppose I'll, I'll quote an example as a person. As a person, let's suppose I'm in India and I have to visit USA. So what will happen, guys? Right now, I'm having Indian currency in my pocket. So if I have to visit USA, I need their currency in the sense USD. US dollar is supposed to be there in my pocket. Then only I can uh, spend some amount over there. Indian currency is not going to be accepted over there, right? So what will happen, guys? I'm going to reach my uh, you know bank and there I'm going to exchange in the sense i'll give my local currency indian currency to the bankers and uh, they're going to give me the us currency right so i have to exchange money exchange right so at that point of time bank will say that you uh, if you're going to give me let's suppose bank will say that okay if you give me uh, 54 Indian currency, then bank will give me one US dollar. Okay, bank will give me one US dollar. Right? If bank is saying that you give me, you give me 54 INR and I will give you one US dollar. Okay, or is in the other word, I'll tell you, bank will say that, okay, if you want to. In the sense, here what is happening, guys? We are the buyer. I am having, like, let's suppose uh, my local currency. But what is happening? I have approached to the bank and saying that I want to buy US dollar from you. So bank is saying that one US dollar I'll sell you in 54 Indian rupees. It means if you give me 54 Indian rupees, then I'll give you one US dollar. It means at this rate bank is selling the us currencies you just assume this example in your currency so that you will be having perfect understanding now so here what is happening bank is saying that one us dollar is going to be sold in 15 54 indian currency so this is the rate at which bank is selling this currency this is called bank selling rate right bank is selling this us dollar in this much rupees so this is called bank selling rate now say for example i went to usa i spent my holiday over there and again after that i'm coming back to my native now so once i came back still there are certain us currency which is there in my pocket so now here in india uh, again, USD is not acceptable, guys. In the sense, like uh, if you go to local shops and all, they will, uh, you know, ask for the uh, Indian currency only. 
So what is happening guys, whatever US dollar is there in my pocket. Now once again, I have to approach to bank and uh, we'll have to say that now you just do one thing. I'm having this US currency and all. So you kindly, you'll, you'll go for exchange. You'll go for exchange means now you are going to give this US currencies to the bank and we are going to take the local currency instead of this US currency, right? In, in the exchange of this local, uh, US currency, we are going to ask for local currency. So here again, bank will say that, okay, so now you came back with US currency, right? So bank is saying that, okay, I will buy, I will buy your US dollar. At this point of time, what is happening, guys? Bank become buyer. Earlier, earlier, we need US currency, so bank is seller. Right now, what is happening? We have to sell our US currency because I need local currency, so bank is the buyer. So bank is saying that one USD I'm going to buy at 50 INA. It means bank is saying that, okay, I'll buy your US currency, but I, I, I'll give you a different rate here. If you give me one US dollar, I will pay you only 50 Indian currency, right? So at this rate, bank is going to buy the US dollar. So now this is called bank buying rate, right? Look at here now, there are two rates guys, bank selling rate and bank buying rate. Hope you guys will be able to understand the example. I'll tell you guys, configurations part, uh, it's, it's like, you uh, it's it's pretty easy right configurations means like uh, of course like you need to understand the logic what whatever we are going to configure uh, configure and all those, so those those logic you need to understand if you don't understand the logic and even even if you know the entire configurations also it's uh, going to be waste of wastage of your time because you don't know the logic behind that simply you know the steps right so that is what i'm trying to you know whatever example i'm quoting just make you people understand that yes this is what the concept and based on that itself we are going to do the configurations again during configurations once again i'm going to explain ex uh, all the things in details so that you guys will be having perfect understanding now here so we are having bank selling rate and bank buying rate so now look at here two rates are there that is what i said like which rate are we going to maintain one usd equals to 54 or 50 right so I'll tell you guys, most of the cases, most of the cases, we are going to maintain average rate because if you talk about the companies, companies are having vendors also and customers also. Look at here, bank buying rate is going to be applicable in terms of vendor, okay? I'm just typing in shortcut guys okay this is customer and this is vendor okay so don't look at the spellings and all just assume that or else i'll this is customer and this is vendor now here so what is happening let's suppose in case of vendor in case of vendor we are having vendor and that vendor we have to make payment to the vendor so your bank account is having like whatever the amount is there in your bank account it is there in local currency only and if you have to make payment to the vendor it means we have to make payment in foreign currency that too in us dollar so what will happen if you are going to instruct your bank that i need to make payment in us dollar it means bank will say that you then you do one thing you buy us dollar from us it means bank is seller bank is going to sell you the us dollar so bank is saying that i will sell you at this at this amount it means if 100 US dollar is going to be paid to the, uh, you know, like uh, vendor, then bank is going to deduct the amount from your, from your wallet in the sense from your bank account. At this rate, bank is going to deduct the amount. And then this amount is going to be converted into dollar and that is going to be paid to the vendor, right? So in case only, if you are having a only vendor, in that case, we are going to specify this rate in exchange rate table, in exchange rate table, we are going to specify this 54 INR, right? <clears throat> if you are having only customers, so customers means customers are going to make payment in US dollar, let's suppose, and this US dollar came to your bank account. Now what is happening? So bank is going to reflect the amount into local currencies only. 
So bank will say that okay, you just do one thing. Whatever US dollars are coming, whatever the payment we have received in US dollar, so we are going to convert this US dollar amount into the local currency that is like in in INR. So it means bank will say that okay, I am going to buy your US US dollar and and I'm going to convert the amount into your local currency. So US dollar, whatever is there, is bank is going to buy at this rate. Okay. So in case of customer payment, customer means our receipt. We are receiving US dollar. Now you are having US dollar in your pocket. So of course, if you need local currency, it means bank is going to buy. We are going to sell it and bank is going to buy. So bank will buy at this rate. So in case of only customer, what is happening, guys? We are going to maintain this rate. But generally, what happens, guys, in most of the cases, you'll be having customer and vendor both. So in that case, we are going to maintain average rate. That is average rate means what will happen? 54 plus 50 divided by 2. So 52 INR is going to be treated as your average rate. So which rate is going to be specified, guys? Bank buying rate, bank buying, bank selling rate, bank buying rate, or average rate, right? So which rate are we going to maintain? So this is not your decisions. Why? Because these configurations, these setups we are going to do for whom? For Tata Motor. Let them decide which rate they are planning to, which rate they are going to maintain. Tata Motors knows that they are having only vendors or customers or both. So in case only vendor, this rate is going to be specified. In case only customer, this rate is going to be specified and customer vendor, vendor both, then average it is going to be specified here in exchange rate table right and based on this rate what is happening guys whatever transactions are going to be posted system is going to convert automatically these things into your local currency this is what the concept this is what the concept but again once i do the configurations there are few more things guys that is going to be very 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 exclusive right people know the configurations part but they don't know uh, the logic behind those configurations and once you go for the interview people will start asking the logic what we mean by this one what will happen if i'm going to do this configurations and what will happen if i don't do that configurations so i'll tell you guys this impact you can understand only if you're having like perfect understanding if you understand the logic then only you are able to respond up uh, you'll be able to give the answers at all or it's like uh, simply a question mark will be there on your face and easily the interviewers are going to read it out and uh, within few minutes they will say that yes now you can leave for the day if you are shortlisted then hr will get back to you it means indirectly they are saying that hr will never get back to you you got rejected right so try to understand the what to say uh, this uh, logic uh, no matter whatever the configurations you are going to do okay so now here in next video what i'm going to show you guys in next video i'm going to show you how to do the configurations and all and again uh, certain very exclusive things I'm going to explain during configurations also. So it's going to be very interesting session. Each and every sessions are going to be interesting, guys. But again, one by one, one by one, all these explanations will be there. So that's all in this session, guys. Next sessions I'm going to show you practically how to configure this foreign currency settings.